Grinders and Grindettes, what's happening? She got a black abstract. I want to talk to y'all about something today, man. Um, something that's been on my mind this all yesterday. Uh, and I watched uh, a video from two guys in this YouTube atmosphere that I, I admire and respect. Uh, one being O'Shea Duke Jackson and the other being Kwame Brown. And they kind of reiterated a couple of things I said in my video uh, that I maybe I should have went into more detail on uh, to give better clarity. So I'm going to get down to it. Listen, why are black folk upset about the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict? Why? Why are we finding why are we finding things to be outraged about? It's just like we can't go, we have to find something to be outraged about. Uh when I say this, I don't want to sound insensitive to um the victims that lost their lives. You know, condolences to the families. Uh and I don't want to come off as being like prejudiced or racist. Uh but I, I'm just trying to make a point. Um, and the point I'm trying to say is, listen, Kyle Rittenhouse victims were Caucasians, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if they were of other descent, you can correct me in the comments. But to my understanding, they were Caucasians. Uh, and I do believe it was a self-defense case. So I want to <laughs> I want to touch on that. So if he if he murdered, if you think he murdered, you say he murdered three Caucasians. Why aren't the Caucasian community upset? Right. Why aren't the victims uh, families going crazy on social network, like trying to trying to do something? Those are the ones that should be outraged if it's going to be outraged. Right. Instead, black folk, in particular, I'm, I'm gonna bring up examples. Tony Baker, uh, somebody who I admire and respect, and Dia Hughley, somebody who I really, really don't care for at all, uh, just because he constantly stirs the pot. Uh, and he's just one sided. He's he's a liberal to me. He's just straight liberal at heart. He he, he claims Democrat, but his views and that of our are liberal. Uh, so my thing is, why are they outraged? And the reason that they say they're outraged because they say if Kyle Rittenhouse was African American, uh, ain't no way he would have got off, right? If he was black and 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 did the same thing Kyle Rittenhouse, first of all, they say he wouldn't made it out of Kenosha if he was a black or brown boy, and two. Uh, if he did happen to stand trial, make it to trial, ain't no way he would have got off. That could be true. That's possibility. But it's not reality. That's It's not what happened. This is not what the case is. Why are we making assumptions? Why are we outraged at the possibility of something that might have happened and not outraged at what did happen? And nobody's posting the victims. Nobody's posting... Uh, at least people of color that I've saw. Nobody's posting the people that people are outraged at the wrong. If you're gonna be outraged, be outraged. Maybe you're pro life, uh, and be outraged that people lost their lives and post the victims. If that's what you're gonna be outraged about, instead we're outraged at the possibility of something that might have happened, but it didn't happen. That's not the reality of the situation. He's not black. He's not Mexican. He's not Puerto Rican. I don't know what he is. Maybe he's mixed. I don't know. But from what I, my understanding, what I'm seeing, he's a white boy. Now, the issue that I did have was the fact that he was over there in the first place. Because I said as a 16-year-old, when I was 16, I was working two jobs. Three, if you count that, I was hustling on the side. So I, was, I had three ways to get money. I had two cars. And uh, I was just into girls. I was trying to I was trying to take everything down I can if I wasn't working. 
If I wasn't working, I was sleeping in between jobs. I was working an overnight job. I had a then after overnight, I went to a job from seven to such and such. And in between, I would I would hustle. Somebody call my phone and, and give them what they need. That's just me as a 16 year old. Uh, I feel like if he wants to carry a rifle and go somewhere, go hunting. That's what hunting's for. It's hunting season now. Um, but he didn't get brought up on charges with that. That's not what the prosecuted, prosecution or the DA decided to charge him for. They wanted to charge him for the murders uh, versus charging him for, I guess, a smaller charge, which is being, carrying an illegal firearm uh, and crossing state lines. That's not so the prosecution shit the bet on that. But my question again is why are black folk outraged about this? We should be focused on the Ahmad Arbery case. And that should be where our energy is. Now, if they get they get off, then we gotta do what we gotta do. Because that's a clear cut and dry case. You you got testimony of saying the guy didn't put a weapon out on me. He was just in our neighborhood. We decided to murder this young man. That's what our energy should be focused on. Not Kyle Rittenhouse. And I'm not saying this to be mean or... It's not our fight per se. But if you want to take on the fight, then it should be the fact that people lost their lives. And that's what we should be uh, posting. We shouldn't be posting at the fact that, oh, if he was this or if he was that, he would have did this and this and that if he was black. That's not what it is. We just making up fictitious situations for no reason. And as a as a as a public figure like a Tony Baker, a Dia Hughley, you can you continue to stir the pot for no reason. For no reason. Some some people say we caught a win with the George Floyd prosecution, but this had nothing to do with race. Nothing. Why are we making it racial with all these situations? And now I'll go one even further. Everybody that comes from the inner city or is currently in the hood and, and actually indulges in a part of their community and knows what's going on, right? Every city got somebody that's walking around that got allegedly multiple bodies, right? Every city got this. Every hood got this. You got somebody that's, and they never been charged. If they have been charged, the cases got dismissed. So I don't want to hear that. Oh, if he was black, dude, I know young serial killers out here that and put in crazy work and walking around here like nothing. And if they do get locked up, it's on something that's not even related to to what they really out here doing. I've seen it multiple times, man. I know somebody that got bodies. I ain't saying no names. It ain't snitching. I'm not even saying, but every everybody know. If you're from the city, you know the dude that's putting in work, he don't never get called for it. Or, let's go another instance. King Von, God bless the dead. And shout out to Dirk. That's my guy. Uh, I got a good relationship with Dirk. Uh, and I'm saying this, you know, King Von's not no longer here. But before he passed, before he even got on, he was in jail for, I believe, two attempted murders. And he beat him. He got off. I believe with a public defender. Just because they didn't have evidence. So I don't want to hear that if, oh, he was black or whatever. Dude, it happens every day. These little young serial killers is getting off from multiple bodies. Multiple. Allegedly. Let me say Allegedly. But we are, it's, it happens all the time. And I believe we're going to take on a fight and be outraged about something. Be outraged about the shit that is going on in the inner city. These young, they, every, every day I turn on the news, I get alerts on my phone. Somebody shot here, somebody shot over there. The city is on fire right now. That's why I can't. That's why I like winter time. A lot of people be like, "Yo, why you like winter?" First of all, it's my it's my downtime for my business, so I can slow down and focus on other things. And also, there don't be people outside, so it's less shit happening. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody inside. 
Summertime come, everybody don't know. They don't know what to do with themselves. So when they get hot out, oh, I got to shoot somebody. But my this the whole point I'm trying to make is if you're going to be outraged, be outraged about the shit we doing to each other before we be outraged about some shit that a young boy that ain't even do nothing to know put people of color. And that's not insensitive. Like I said, condolences to the families of the victims. Rest in peace. But if we're going to be outraged about anything, be outraged about what's going on in the inner cities, in these neighborhoods, where these young niggas are shooting and killing everything versus Kyle Rittenhouse, who was that was self-defense. It was textbook self-defense. You have to watch the video with a non-biased standpoint. It was self-defense. If you look at the just the, what self-defense is for that state, it was. If you watch the video, he didn't shoot anybody until he was being threatened or attacked. And like I said, we can argue my argument and a lot of people's arguments. He shouldn't have been there. That's true. But he was there. And what happened led to other events, and it was self-defense. Oh, he wouldn't have got out if he was, he put his hands up, he complied. And yes, probably, but I don't agree with that either, because I think if it was a black or brown person, they wouldn't have been their ass over there in the first place. So we can't say that argument anyway. Black or brown person is, is, is no better. <laughs> so stop stop with that argument Stop finding something to be upset about If you're going to say The system or the jury don't work Okay you can say that Because it's young Like I said it's young serial killers walking around And then beat multiple bodies Because they can't find a way to prosecute them Or nobody want to come forward And I'm not advocating snitching or something. I'm just making an example Don't be the pot calling the kettle black it's just, it's stupid. It makes us look stupid. This as a whole, like, like, stop. Focus on the Amar, Amar Berry case. It's frustrating, man. Like, people are just always want to be angry about something. Like, st stop. How you get tumors and shit? Upset. Oh, that's, oh. I don't know, man. I just wanted to come and talk about that, man. Uh, I see a lot of people doing it. Uh, Marlon Wayne is the same thing. I'm like, dude, come on, bro. You serious? You serious? Like, this ain't our fight. If, if it is, then the fight should be focused on the victims. Post pictures of the victims. We want, you should, we want, we need justice for the victims. Instead, I'm saying, oh, if that was a black person. That's not even sincere. That's not even... It's people that lost their lives. You're not even focused on that. You focus on on your skin color. That's kind of selfish. To a family of that, that, that lost... Two, two people lost their lives and one other guy got shot. It's kind of fucked up. I'd be upset if I saw a bunch of outrage for Kyle Rittenhouse, but it wasn't even towards my relative or something that lost his life. It's because a possibility that if... Uh, Kyle Rittenhouse was a different color He would have been shot Or he wouldn't have got uh, off On the trial He wouldn't have got an acquittal That's selfish man I don't know It's just my take on it man We can talk about it in the comments um, Yes historically uh, I know people Of color have had it. Uh, You know we had uh, And I'm not saying I'm oblivious to it People of color had had uh, just bad experiences in court, falsely falsely accused of shit. Uh, we've seen Trayvon uh, and a bunch of others lose their lives uh, due to just senselessness. Uh, that and they should still be here. I understand that aspect of it. I understand where you're coming from. I understand that 100. percent I'm not doubting that. But why we can't compare that? Kyle Rittenhouse didn't didn't spew any racial. We, it's no background of him just spewing racial shit or just being 
If I'm not out here, he was there to help, I guess. And that's the argument you could you could argue. Like he shouldn't have been there, but he didn't they didn't charge him with that. They didn't charge him with fucking having a legal firearm. But stop ch- comparing him, rest in peace, Trayvon Martin, uh, and all the other young black men that lost their lives prematurely due to just ignorance or racist racism. Uh stop. Stop it. It's not you you just it's it's like a stretch and people are just going for I'm like, yo, people is crazy. People are really truly nuts. How like you Kyle Rittenhouse defending himself. He could be on the opposite end. He somebody pointed a gun at him. Somebody pointed a loaded firearm at this dude, at this kid. And it could possibly him be a victim if he didn't act fast. I was always told if you ain't going, if you're not going to use it, don't pull it. The one gentleman he shot that survived pulled his gun out on him. And unfortunately, I believe it caused him his legs. I believe he's paralyzed. Why are you aiming your gun at somebody you're not going to use it? Stop. Stop being outraged, people. Shout out to Kwame Brown. Shout out to O'Shea Duke. We got to stop this shit, man. Post the comments below. Like and subscribe if you mess with me. If you don't, I really don't care. I'll still get paid. <laughs> but uh, peace, love, and prosperity. We can have a health discussion in the comments. Be respectful, as always, because YouTube will de- delete your comment. People think I'll be deleting comments. I don't care, dude. I got thick skin. I really don't care. And I get right in the comments to get busy with your ass. You know how I give it up. But a lot of people think I delete comments. No, YouTube deletes comments if it's, it's it's got guidelines. If you say anything disrespectful, they'll take it. Sometimes I'll see it in my notifications, and I'll go to the comment, and it'll be gone. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, YouTube must have took it down. A lot of people think I'll be taking the comments down. I ain't, listen, I, don't, I ain't ducking no smoke. It is what it is. If if I, if I was that sensitive uh, to other people's opinions, I wouldn't be in the YouTube business. Period. I will I will find something else to do behind the scenes or I wouldn't show my face or just make voiceover videos all the time. That's not the case, man. You got you. You probably I'm probably the realest YouTuber on this joint. Somebody that really lived this shit constantly and been through this shit in real life and made it and just giving my perspective who, who did a whole 360. But I'm still with the shits. See my ankle. I don't be on, that's why I'm not in my studio. I see my ankle. I might put a gun out on me, and I took that motherfucker, and then went off and hit me in the fucking ankle. That's that ain't no. That's not a normal person that's wrapped too tight. I'm with the shits. But anyway, like I said, post the comments. See ya.